A change could be coming to a small North Strand town, but against many residents' wishes, Julia Richardson breaks down the status of a high-rise project in Atlantic Beach and how people on both sides of the issue are reacting tonight. That oceanfront high-rise is a project that's been in the works for a couple of years now. Developers say they've revised the plan around residents' concerns, but tonight, some of those residents still aren't satisfied. It's a plan for a controversial high rise. And despite pushback from the community, the Atlantic Beach Planning Commission gave it the green light. And they're moving forward with the project without the public's support. It just doesn't make sense. The plan right now includes an 18-story building with 90 units, which will be a mix of condos and hotel rooms. Residents say traffic, the environment, and preserving Atlantic Beach's history are their biggest concerns. How in the world are you going to put a whole building up, 17, 18, whatever stories, and it's not going to affect us? We're not stupid. No. We know what y'all doing. All of the comments have been in opposition to the plan. I don't know. Now that's not good. And if I was the developer, I would be very concerned. So you're not worried about this? Uh, no. No, no. In fact, developers say they're confident with their project. We want to ensure you that we hear you <laughs> and we want to be a good neighbor to you. So we want to ensure that the amenities that we're offering speak to a benefit to all of you. Lead developer Charles Morant insists honoring the town's past and ensuring its future are at the top of his firm's list. We want to bring those two, two together, the, the history of the community, preserving that history and developing the future so that we can attract businesses locally, regionally, nationally, and internationally to come to Atlantic Beach. This plan will be on Town Council's agenda August 29th. There will also be a public hearing during that meeting. In the control room, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.